Hello everybody, welcome to the channel, and today we're playing some Marvel Champions. So as you see here, we're going to be playing as Spider-Man. Alright, so Marvel Champions is the new LCG from Fantasy Flight Games. In the box it comes with five heroes, you have Spider-Man, you have She-Hulk, you have Iron Man, Captain Marvel, and Black Panther. So today we're going to be playing with Spider-Man. I'm going to try to go over all the rules as quickly as I can. I've already tried to record this once and it was way too long. So, here we go. So, Marvel Champions will be playing as a hero. So, we have chosen Spider-Man and Peter Parker. So, what do you need to know? So, the game will always start you off in your alter ego mode. And as you can see here, that little symbol beside Peter Parker's name means a unique character. You can only ever have one unique out at the same time among all players. I'm going to be playing solo today, so I'll mention that a few times when it pops up. Now, on both sides of the card, there are abilities. So you have 1 THW, which is Thwart, 2 ATK, which is Attack, and 3 DEF, which is Defense, and then on the other side, 3 REC, which is Recovery. Whenever you use one of those four, you have to exhaust your hero. Every on each side, there's an ability. <clears throat> so for Peter Parker, it's a scientist ability, which grants a resource, which generates one science resource once per round. And you'll notice that does not exhaust. There are heroes that have exhaustive abilities, but Spider-Man is not one of them. So, Spider-Sense, which is an interrupt. When the villain initiates an attack against you, draw one card. That doesn't mean it has to be a successful attack, just when they would attack against you. All right, and that is heroes. Now each hero has a 15 card deck that cannot be changed at this point as of uh, February 15th. Happy Valentine's Day, everyone, uh, 2020. Now, these are unique to that one hero. No one else can use them. So we're just gonna quickly break down what's in here. So we can quickly teach. People have played Arkham well probably catch on really quick. There we go. <clears throat> so, we'll start with supports and allies. So, Aunt May is unique. She is a support card, which you can see under the cost at the top left. And then Black Cat is the same, except for, since Black Cat is kind of the hero slash anti-hero name, uh, she, this one is being played by Felicia Hardy, which is underneath her name there. So there could be a Black Cat played by somebody else. Going back to Aunt May here, she has a alter ego action, which means you can only use it on your alter ego mode. For instance, Enhanced Spider Sense has a hero interrupt, meaning you have to be in hero mode. So what does Aunt May do? She You can exhaust her to heal 4 damage from Peter. Really, really strong. Now, allies. Allies differ from supports because the allies can attack, thwart, and defend, and supports can't as far as we know so far. So she does. She has one thwart, one attack, and an ability. You'll notice under thwart there's a star. That means when she thwarts, she'll take consequential, consequential damage, but when she attacks, she does not. She has two health, which you can see on the middle right side there, and her ability is force response. After you play Black Cat, discard the top two cards of your deck, add each card with a printed science resource, discard this way to your hand. So. I believe she is the only hero who can attack without taking con or uh, ally who can take cons does not take consequential damage on attacks. So in that sense, she's pretty important. Although uh, you'll notice there's no defense stat. If you're going to defend with her, she is blocking an attack, and she will use her health. And let's try to go to some events here. So backflip. It's a zero cost event. You interrupt. So this is, you're obviously in hero mode to interrupt an attack. So when you would take any amount of damage from an attack, prevent all of that damage. It's a very good card, there's two of them. And then we have Enhanced Spider Sense, which is a hero interrupt as well. When a treachery card is, oh, this one's not hero interrupt. My bad. This one's a hero interrupt. When a treachery card is revealed from the encounter deck, cancel its when revealed effects. Very strong. There are three swing web kicks, one of the best cards in the game. It's a three cost event, hero action, attack, deal eight damage to an enemy. Very strong. 
Spider Tracer. This is an upgrade, but not to you. It upgrades to a minion. So you attach to a minion, and it has a force interrupt. When the attached minion is defeated, remove three threat from a scheme. These are pretty important, depending on which type of Spider-Man you'll play. We have Web Shooter. It's a one cost upgrade. It uses web counters. And they become hero resources. So extra so Peter generates science on his turn, but Spider-Man doesn't. If you have the web shooters out though, they will generate a wild resource, which is very good. And then we have webbed up. It's a four cost upgrade, so very expensive. You can only use it in hero form, and it attaches itself to an enemy. When the attached enemy would attack, you discard web up webbed up instead. And then you get to stun that enemy. So it blocks two attacks, which is really great. And that is Peter Parker's deck. Now you notice we can't just play with 15 cards. There is a limit of, I want to say, 40 and maximum of 50. And the way you fill the rest of it out is you choose one of four different types of deck. You have Aggression, which you can see at the bottom right, Protection, leadership, and justice. So we'll be choosing one of these and adding it to the deck. Now the game says for Spider-Man beginner you should use justice because I believe justice helps deal with threat or uh, th yeah threat and Spider-Man is not very good at thwarting. So that's an option but I think it'd be more fun to play with leadership. And then we have a pool of basic cards to choose from as well. Uh, one thing I forgot to mention, at the bottom left, you have a hand size and what your hit points are. So the hit points are the same for both sides, but the hand size changes. So Spider-Man only has a hand size of 5, while Peter has a hand size of 6. Always good to pay attention to that because all the heroes are, have something slightly different, usually. Uh, Iron Man is a good example of this because Iron Man starts at 1, card and Tony is six but as you build your suit up you get more cards in your hand which is pretty thematic I think okay let us quickly build this deck all right so the cards that are available here are the core set Miss Marvel and Captain America I believe so there are some cards I haven't played with before now Marie Hill she is a pretty good team card, so I don't think we'll choose her. Now, I'm not going to go over every single card, just so that we can get through this a bit quicker. Um, I'm going to pick I don't know, Wonder Man. I've never used Wonder Man. Not a big fan of discarding a card, but to do three damage. Alright, we'll give him a shot. I've heard Falcon's good. Ready and ally. We'll take two of those. You can have three of any one card. Unless they say there's a deck limit. Alright. Uh, we'll take one of those. I don't know if I need morale boost. Well, we can try one of those. Inspired is good. I uh, will just take two, three. I don't know. I want to have a lot of allies, but yeah, we'll find ooh one or two Quinjets. Say one. I'm not sure. I've never used Quinjet. Increase your ally limit. Sure. Of leadership, okay. Do I take another Quinjet? Oh, I've taken so many cards. Oh man, my deck is gonna be so loaded. Okay, so we have 15 and 21, that leaves us 36. X. Okay, we're not gonna take Nick Fury, which might be controversial to some. Um, yes, we'll take an Avengers Mansion. Take a helicarrier. I 
Avengers Tower. I do have a lot of Avengers, so we'll take that. Take one, one, one. Tenacity. Ooh. Um. I'm not sure. Don't think so. I'll take one Haymaker. So they're never terrible. Don't think we'll need first aid. I don't think we'll need emergency. Maybe? Uh oh. What have I done? I think I've mixed some piles here. <laughs> uh oh. What was this pile? I did not mean to shuffle. <laughs> I think, yeah, I think I mixed a few things here. What am I doing? Avengers Tower. Okay. <clears throat> Seven. It's already more than I wanted. Maybe an endurance. Uh, I don't think we're going to use you. These aren't bad cards, but I just don't see us using them. What was that one? Maybe I'll put one of these in. Because this would power vision. Alright, what does that put us at? Ten. Uh, that's a lot more over than I want to be, but that's fine. It's the first game. Gotta cut ourselves some slack. Alright. Now, I need Peter's obligation stuff. Where do I grab that? Yes, here we go. Okay, so each hero has an obligation card, and they have their own nemesis deck, which is actually set aside at the beginning. So the, oh, is this going to grow in size to fit? Um, <laughs> okay. So, it gets tossed into the deck. Is it in there, though? It is. Okay. I wonder if it grew. Is it on top? Ah, okay, it did. Gotcha. Cool. Can I do that to my cards? Make them huge? Oh, uh, it had the opposite effect there. Hmm. That's fine. As long as this goes back up. Okay. Weird. Weird how that works. Okay. Um. Anyway, so the obligation. Every hero has one, and it goes into the deck, and you draw it. Bad stuff happens. Sometimes it's not so bad, sometimes it's really bad. There is one card in here that will pull out the Nemesis set, which, in multiplayer, it shows up a lot more because when you're playing single, or sometimes even duo, it'll show up as a boost card, and we'll get into that later. Alright. So each villain, there's three in the main set, and there's currently two scenario sets out right now, I believe, uh, which would be Goblin and Wrecking Crew. They each come with a main scheme, and the main scheme tells you how to build the deck. So we're going to be doing the standard uh, game. So that means we'll be up against Rhino 1 and then Rhino 2. And we add the standard encounter set, which is this one right here, seven cards. And we have to add the bomb scare, which is right... Oh, I hate when it does that. Which is right here. Which is, starts with a side scheme, but all the other cards are encounter cards. 
So all we do is toss these all in together, get shuffled up, and that is Rhino set up. So let's take a look at Rhino. Rhino at the top right, that one, that like little one mean size is first stage. So Rhino has one scheme to attack, not too terrible. I'm Rhino and knock things down, that's what I do, that's who I am. <laughs> he has 14 health, which is already right there. And once everything is set up, you can flip it over. The break-in. It has a threshold of 7 per player. Rhino is trying to smash through the facility wall and steal the shipment of Vibranium. You must stop him. If this stage is completed, the players lose the game. Alright, so that little up arrow symbol with the one, plus 1 per player is how much threat gets placed on it. And it starts with the number beneath it, which is 0. Which is pretty good for us. Okay. I think we're ready to start. Let's grab these. Actually, right there. Okay, so these are the player reference. So I'll just quickly go over it. Player phase reference. Take turns in player order. On your turn you may play cards, trigger, and request actions. Request is for when you're playing with more than one. You can use basic attack thwart recovery. You can change your form once per round, which is very important. And then you get to end your turn. And very importantly to do in order is discard cards from your hand after your turn's done, draw back up to your hand size, and ready all, all of your cards. Doing them in this order is very important. And then the villain phase will get into that when that comes. Okay, so shuffle one last time. Ooh, that's an interesting start. Oh no. Oh, that's, that's really good. Okay, so we got some stuff here. So I'll quickly go over each one. So Avengers Mansion costs four, which is pricey, but it's a very good card. They're max one per player. Action, exhaust Avengers Mansion, choose a player, and that player draws a card. So imagine doing that every single turn. Strength of numbers, exhaust any number of allies you control to draw one card for each ally exhausted this way. Hawkeye, Clint Barton. Hawkeye enters play with four arrow counters on him. Response after a minion enters play, remove one arrow counter from Hawkeye, deal two damage to that minion. Squirrel Girl, two cost ally. After Squirrel Girl enters play, deal one damage to each enemy. The energy resource, which is worth two energy at the bottom left there. And Wonder Man is a two cost ally. Simon Williams. There's more than one Wonder Man? Whoa. As an additional cost for Wonder Man to attack, you must discard one card from your hand. Alright, now one thing I haven't covered is how you pay for things. So there's a symbol in the bottom left of every single card, and that is how, mu how many resources it's worth in the type of resource. So for instance, if I want to play the Avengers Mansion, which I really want to, want to do, I'm going to be playing, I'm going to pay for it with these two cards here, because this equals three, and then Peter's power, once around, I get to generate a resource. I wonder, is there a token I can... A different sided token. Hmm. Not really, huh? I was thinking if I could. Oh, you know what? Do I. Did I import some tokens? Ooh. I don't know if these would be different on the other sides. Eh, that's fine. We'll just remember. <laughs> so he says now at the beginning when he hasn't made any mistakes yet. Okay, so we're using the ability, paying these three to get the Avengers Mansion into play. So we'll just put that here. We're going to use the Avengers Mansion right away to draw a card. Okay. Now, webbed up is too expensive at this point in time, and we're pretty good on health. So I'm probably going to be spending this to pay for something. I could get a Wonder Man, but I'm not currently the biggest fan of discarding cards from my hand right now. Hawkeye is just always great, having those arrow tokens. So I think we're going to pay three to get Hawkeye out. And we also have cards that get allies back from the from the discard pile 
All right, so let's get some tokens here. Wow. These tokens are made for like the big cards. I don't know why my cards are so tiny. Okay, there's your arrow tokens. I'm gonna grab some health tokens while I'm at it. Actually, this is probably. I thought I'd put these in good positions, but I think this is better. There we go. Okay. So that is pretty much almost everything I could do with the turn. So we're going to flip to Spider-Man. And we're going to do two damage to Rhino. Knocking his health down there. And Hawkeye... Hawkeye will attack as well. He's got three health, so... He takes one consequential damage, and he deals one damage to Rhino. Alright. Now we follow... So this exhausts both of them to properly do it. Now, discard any number of cards from your hand. We have none. Draw up to your hand size, which is now five. Swing web kick is good. Falcon is great. Genius is really good there. Backflip is also great. And web shooters. Okay. So you'll notice in this game that you get a lot of good cards. And you just got to play the puzzle of what's going to be worth more over time, or what is better in the moment, things like that. Okay, now it's the villain phase. Place threat in the main scheme. So he schemes for one, or sorry, um, it's always one per player that gets put on due to this. And because I'm in hero mode, Rhino will attack me. So I get to interrupt. When he initiates attack, I get to draw a card, just in case that matters. It doesn't at this point. So let's see what the attack is. Now, when he attacks or schemes, he gets one card to boost. There'll be a symbol at the bottom that you counter cards, or sometimes there won't be. But if there is, it gets at, at, it is added to the numbers here. So he's going to attack for two plus zero. Actually, I'm going to keep that aside. because. So he has two attack, and then there is... Oh, actually, I have that wrong. There they are. They're at the side there. So it's actually four attack coming in. I could backflip, which isn't a bad idea. Um, but before I decide to backflip, what would I be doing with my turn? I'd really like to get Falcon out or Black Hat. Or ideally both. But to do that how would the money go? But I'll a swing web kick just kicks things into gear. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. I say we'll try to swing web kick and black hat. So to do that, and we will be including Peter's resource here. This pays for black hat. These three oh, these three pay for swing and web kick. So I could use backflip. Okay. So I'm going to use backflip to not take any damage. And after the after the villain and any engaged minions attack, then we have to deal an encounter card to each player. And then we show it and resolve it. Okay, so we got a side scheme here. Crowd control. Wow, that is huge. Panic civilians crowd the area. It is difficult to confront Rhino without putting them at risk. Get the people to safety. Now this has a crisis icon. While the scheme is in play, you cannot remove threat from the main scheme. And it has two on it. Okay. Do I want to get Falcon out instead of Black Cat then? <laughs> she is not a good schemer. Or a thwarter, but Falcon is. His ability, uh, after he enters play, you get to look at the top three cards in the encounter deck. And for each one looked at this way, remove a threat from a scheme. That might be more important. Okay, well, we've already used the backflip. And it is our turn, so let's start by drawing a card from Avengers Mansion. Okay, that changes things. So these two can pay for Falcon. We can swing and web... Okay, we can do a lot of things here. It's all order, though. So we want to swing and web kick first. 
So we will use a web shooter. We'll use strength. So that is the, the cost paid. So hero action, deal eight damage to an enemy. Bringing him down to three. Okay. Then, Spider-Man will, how do we want to do this? Spider-Man will attack for two. We will flip to Peter Parker, spend his resource, Black Hat and Genius, which puts Falcon into play. And we get to look at the top three cards in counter deck for each treachery. Look this way, remove one threat from scheme. That's one treachery, two treacheries, and a minion. So the good thing about this is we get to see what's coming up. So he's not going to scheme against us too bad, which is good. All right, so we saw two, we get to remove two. And there goes crowd control. Not too bad. All right. I think Hawkeye will shoot an arrow at Rhino, reducing him to zero, triggering his next phase. So Rhino 2. When revealed, search the encounter deck and discard pile for the break and take inside scheme. And reveal it. Shuffle the encounter deck. So we already have that here. All right, Rhino is breaking things and taking them. When revealed, place an additional threat of one per player here. This has a hazard icon, which deals one plus one encounter card during the villain phase. All right. So we have a total of three threat in here. Which Falcon can't actually get rid of all of it. That's fine though. He will thwart to remove two. So we will be getting an extra encounter card which isn't great and that is the end of our turn. Now we have it ended as Peter Parker so we get to draw extra card. Power of leadership. Another swing white kick. Avengers Tower. Endurance. Maker and another swinging web kick. Well, this is wasted here, unfortunately. But we do have an Avengers Mansion, so we could pos potentially draw into a make the call or or uh, another ally. If each of your allies has the Avenger to increase your ally limit by one, and you can exhaust the tower to reduce the cost of the next Avenger ally played this phase by one. That's pretty good. Pretty good. Okay. Well, it's on to the villain phase. He will scheme for one, and then he will scheme for one plus zero, because there is no symbol at the bottom there. Okay. Encounter. Explosion. If bomb scare is in play, assign X damage among heroes and allies, where X is the amount of threat on the bomb scare. If bomb scare is not in play, card gains surge, which means we draw another one. Sandman. Bring me a dream. So he starts with toughness, which I'll show you what that does. So he gets the tough card. And tough reads. Oops. Uh, the next time this character would take any amount of damage, discard the status card instead. So Hawkeye shoots him due to his ability, removing the tough. But that was only one encounter card. The next one is Armored Rhino Suit. Attach to Rhino. Force Interrupt. When any amount of damage would be dealt to Rhino, place it here instead. Then if there is at least five damage here, discard the Armored Rhino Suit. Okay. Not great, but not terrible. All right, first thing we're gonna do, Avengers Mansion. Now there's make the call. Maybe get Wonder Man out. Maybe. 
If I get this out first, the next Avenger is cheaper too. So why don't we use Peter in Endurance? Well, let's, let's hypothetically do this to get that in play. And then if we play Make the Call, we have Wonder Man in here or Squirrel Girl. I wonder if this is a weird case where Squirrel Girl would be better. Wonder Man's better overall. Well, that might be, maybe that's more important just to have the overall better card. I don't really want to lose Hawkeye right now. And if I get the Avengers Tower out, I can have extra guys out, so I could just have them sit there. Um, yeah, Squirrel Girl's a little weak. Okay. Alright, alright. So we're gonna get Avengers Tower out. We're going to play Make the Call. Oops. Actually, I need that open. Got to pull out Wonder Man. Or, mm, could play, could play Clint again. Oh, I just realized. Avengers Tower. That's fine. Okay. So we'll play Wonder Man. We'll pay for him with the power of leadership. Okay, he is out in play now. I can't use either swinging web kick, huh? It's a shame. I might hold on to one then. Alright. So we'll... Yeah, let's flip to Spider-Man. Oh, we could pay Haymaker with both the web kicks. But that's kind of not good. Alright, well, Wonder Man will attack by discarding a sweet web kick. So he will do 3 damage to the suit. Falcon. We'll deal two damage here. Spider-Man will also deal damage there. Get rid of Sandman. Hawkeye will just keep up. And that is it. We are going to discard Haymaker. And we'll draw four cards. Inspired. Inspired might be really good on Wonder Man right now. <clears throat> Ooh, Spider Tracer. One turn too late. Okay. Oh, we didn't get rid of the Breaking and Taken thing. That's our own fault? Okay. So he schemes by putting one threat, and he is going to attack me. I've got nothing to react to. Oh, I forgot to ready everything. There we go. He's going to attack me for... 3 plus 1. So that's 4 damage incoming. If I defend, I only take 1. Then Spider Man can't do anything. I also draw a card. Well, that's good. Uh, let's take the 4. Okay. First encounter card will be. Charge. Yikes. Attach to Rhino. When Rhino attacks, the attack gains overkill. Excess damage to ally from this attack is dealt to that ally's controller. At the end of this attack, discard charge. Okay. And the other one? The villain schemes. Okay. So it's one plus one. Alright. So we gotta deal with that soon, too. Okay. We're alive. Somewhat. Alright. Avengers Mansion. Get ready. Uh, maybe we'll do a double hit with Wonder Man. Alright. Sam. It's your time, my friend. You are going to get rid of the armored rhino suit. Okay. 
Oh, I forgot to put his health back up. He has 15. So the next stage had one more health than his first form. Okay. Uh, I guess Spider-Man will thwart this off. Uh, I don't want to get rid of Clint. But what am I going to do? Really? Uh, yeah. My next ally is going to be so cheap if I get the Quinjet out, too. Spire Tracer is useless. Okay, let's get the Helicarrier out. Um, I think we want a web kick as well. So, if we web kick, we'll pay it with. Actually, if I want to play this, I gotta use the other two. That's fine. Okay, so we're gonna web kick. We're paying for it with these three cards to deal eight damage to Rhino. Hold on one second. What if I swap these two out? Hear me out for a second. He's got seven health left, right? Uh, we can win, I think. So if we if Wonder Man attacks, we pay that, right? He deals three damage. Then we play get ready. Ready an ally. He gets back up. We use him discarding the helicarrier to deal three damage. And then doesn't even matter, Hawkeye the Beast shoots an arrow, knocking out Rhino. Boom. Rhino's out. So that would also take out Hawkeye. All right, and that would be it. Uh, so that would be beating standard Rhino with Spider-Man. Now I feel like I'm, this is the first time I've actually done a solo game against him, but I, I felt like that went pretty well. And I don't believe I made any mistakes. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think I did. So, that is good. Now for an extra challenge, we could try to do... Continue this into Rhino 3. Um, and I say, why not? This video is still under an hour, so... So he gains toughness and he stuns... He stuns us. Now, I haven't attacked with Peter yet, so I could get rid of the stun. Uh, next time this uh, next time this character would attack, discard the stun. So let's do that. Um. We gotta hope we drop backflip. Because <laughs> I don't think we'd be able to actually survive. Because Rhino has four attack and he's got a charge, so that's seven damage coming in. But I can't. I automatically lose if. Um, I automatically lose if I flip to Peter. So this might be the end of it, but we've officially technically won. So there we go. One, two, three. Four, oh no. 
I think we're done. There's, there's, there's no way. We had a chance, I think. I think there was one more backflip in here somewhere. Yeah, it's a shame. All right, well, let's see how it would shake out, right? So, one goes here. He attacks for... <laughs> that would have been an attack of nine coming in. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> yeah, but the way I played, I mean... I would have... Uh, well, actually, hold on. Hold on. Right? Okay. <laughs> when Spider-Man's attacked, he gets the truck card. Could you imagine, though? Where were you? Oh, I wasn't getting it. There it is. <laughs> it was only, like, nine cards deep. Alright, well, that was fun. We did win. We defeated Rhino 2. And um that was Marvel Champions. It's 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 pretty quick. It doesn't really have the 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 biggest story. I mean like you can kind of pick apart a story from from the cards that are played in a certain order that they came out, which is actually really neat because it kind of does feel like a comic book kind of feel. Um I have lost in this game uh, probably while we were learning. Um but I think it's good fun. It's it's pretty quick. I mean Next time I do a video, I wouldn't do the whole setup at the beginning. I would just have the deck ready. I'd have the villain deck ready, and we'd go. And I feel like these would be pretty quick pretty quick videos. So uh, hopefully people will like them, and hopefully I haven't made any mistakes. I'll try to catch that in editing. And yeah, so far uh, I feel like the mod could use just a little bit of work. Um, I couldn't tell you what, because I don't know how four people could play. Here. I know this is what the official mat kind of looks like, because you could have like one person here, one kind of diagonal, one here, one here, maybe, I don't know. Yeah, because if my cards were big, I could... <laughs> so if I do do solo again, I'm going I'm to try to get my cards to be this size. I'll learn how. But yeah, I thought that was quite fun. Yeah, they they have some promos ready for the cards that are coming out. So Thor hasn't been officially released as of February 15th. Black Widow hasn't been out. And Doctor Strange is not out. They all look really cool. Uh, I don't own Captain America in real life. Really looking forward to playing as him. I do have Miss Marvel. She is pretty fun. I have played Iron Man and... I've played everybody except She-Hulk. With my uh, set at home. So, yeah... That was Marvel Champions. I've been Shadow. If you have any questions, post them on down. Tell me your, tell me how you liked Marvel Champions, if you've played it, or if you want to play it, what, what uh, attracts you to the game. And yeah. Have a good one.